On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the new Moore sniper rifle that has a photonic charge aftermarket part barrel that has a secret ability when it's pack a punch. So let's go try it out. I've been so excited to try this thing out in zombies. I was messing around with it in multiplayer, getting it leveled up, and I was having a lot of fun with it. And because how can you not look at this? When you charge up the barrel, it has this nice little pulse effect. And then when you shoot a zombie with it, to kind of just mess them up. Now, I'll be the first one to admit, with this little charge up, it's not the strongest unless you pack a punch it. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Let's get pack a punch on this. And a little tip, if you use mag a holding on it, you don't have to bolt this weapon back at all. You can just constantly shoot it. So if you have a mag holding and you're bringing this weapon into game, I would recommend not putting any bolt attachment on it because you don't really need it. And how's this doing against some tier two zombies? Absolutely obliterating them. They're gone sleep and since we're right here in we need some mercenary kills for the camos on this anyways let's just go ahead and obliterate these guys they absolutely have zero chance of surviving this okay that turret has a little bit of a chance that turret's not normal okay uh we're, we might be getting a little too cocky here let's uh not die that would be uh great great for our health turret gone all mercs gone and i'll be taking that key card and that self revive and while we're in the area how's this doing against some tier three zombies even though we don't even have it pack three it takes a few shots but it can take them down not only to the ground but it can kill them even a fully armored zombie doesn't stand a chance let's get all these zombies on a decoy real quick go ahead go on over there don't be shy and let's start spamming yeah they're all going down Oh, and we just launched that one right into the drink. Now, I know the word broken gets thrown around a lot when you're talking about weapons in zombies or really any mode in COD, but come on. You gotta admit this thing's kind of crazy. But I haven't really seen how this can do against elites yet, though. So let's go ahead and start up a tier two bounty. Get us warmed up. Oh, this mimic didn't want none. He took himself out before we can even see him. Maybe he's just that scared of it. Now, are there any elites that aren't cowards? It's your lucky day, Mangler. You get to be our test subject. How's this doing against you? Oh, uh, so far, not a whole lot of damage. What if we just spam it at his feet? Okay, there we go. Keep a distance on him. Keep him stunned. That doesn't seem to be extremely strong against elites, but it's doing work. It's getting the job done. Does it do any better if we charge it up? How much damage does that do? Looks like it's the same whether or not we charge it. So see you later, pal. I'll be taking this. We can do about one more bounty and then make our way into tier three. All right, Mangler, you're gonna suffer the same fate as your buddy. This thing is so crazy, dude. And the best part about it is we don't need PhD. Like it doesn't inflict any self-explosive damage. So I think this actually might be better than the RGL. And it shoots faster too. I just need a little bit more cash for pack three. I already went ahead and grabbed us a contract. That way somebody else doesn't grab it. We just need to scavenge for some money. Oh my Lanta, give me that. 3,500? You got gold bars sitting in the cash register. Let's go ahead and sell that and we're good to go. Now give me that. And somebody took out my bounty for me. You know what? I'll take the free cash. I could have just sat here and did nothing. I guess we can return the favor and fight this mega bomb. This is somebody's HVT a bomb. Oh no, we got two of them. Uh oh. They're both shooting lasers at me. Knock it off. Ooh, this mega abomination's eating damage. Either that or I think he's getting lasered by the other one. You know what? I'm just gonna assume that was my gun. What about these zombies here? I'm getting melted. Oh, it's not bad damage. But I don't think we can really do critical damage with this pulse rifle. Like, it's not actually, like, hitting. Only the pulse is hitting. I don't know if that makes any sense, but. We're not hitting the crit on them. Oh, shit. We can definitely get hit in our crit. Oh, and that one's down. What you got for me? Anything good? Nope. It does not look like this guy want to go down very easily. I think he might just keep healing. Because the team that's supposed to be fighting him is not here. So I'm going to leave him. Well, let's grab the rest of my perks. And let's test this out against our old pal, the Stormcaller. Where you at, buddy? I just want to talk. There you are. How's this doing against you? He's getting his heal off. Can I actually hit him? Can I stop him from healing? It's like going right through him. Hello? Stop it. There we go. Stop them. Okay, there we go. Maybe we just need to be a lot closer to him. And make sure that we can find some ammo on the ground. So we're running out of it pretty quick. What if we stay scoped in on him? I think we just broke his mask. Oh, now we're starting to deal some actual damage. As long as he stops healing it, 
It's like I can't shoot his hand. Do I have to scope in constantly? Oh, that's much better scoping in. Actually choose where my shots are going. But it's not like that crazy against him. Like we're getting some damage. But it's not the most consistent weapon, especially when we keep running out of ammo. And then he gets to heal it all back up. Knock it off. We're actually just going to have to grab some ammo. But this weapon kind of reminds me of the Storm... I think it's the Stormbringer. That one EMP launcher. It basically does the same thing, but I think just a little better. And it can actually scale up to tier 3. But against bosses, it doesn't really do a whole lot. Like, we got him down to half health, but at what cost? But we got him low. Let's try to end this here. Aether Shroud, where'd you go? You stay right where I can see you. Almost there. Just a little bit more. There's no running from this. You're getting taken out. Night, night. See you later. Right about now. There we go. Damn. I actually survived for way longer than I thought he would. I don't think anybody's coming for this abomination. They spawned that contract in and canceled it. They said, I am not dealing with that. Well, let me try out this escort mission because if this can do pretty decently against zombies, I feel like we might be able to protect it. Anyways, let's start up this escort before this mega abomination gets over here and ruins it. Oh no, there's a lot of elites over here though. That's our main issue. We can take these guys out. We'll be okay. We're through our first area. It's absolutely decimating these zombies. They can't even get close. Like this mangler is absolutely eating these shots, but any zombie that comes around just immediately dies. This is a crazy discrepancy. I think this is how the, the Jack Purifier works now that they nerfed that flamethrower. But it's still at 45% health here. We're on the final stretch. We just got to keep doing laps, shooting this. I think it just finished the orb. As long as it doesn't blow this up, we're all right. We're good. Because I don't think I've ever really finished this escort contract without like a VR-11 or like 800 cashmeres. Oh, did we make it through? Oh, we got it. Let's go. What do we got? A whole lot of nothing. And let's see if we can get our own abomination to fight. I finally want a fair fight against one in this disciple. You know what? A man can dream. Oh, wait. Nope. We got a real one right here. We got a live one. And I think the other HVT abomination is finally gone. Let's see if we can take him out. Throw a quick decoy while he's shooting his laser. Oh, that's not terrible damage to him. Did some terrible damage to us, though. You know, one down, that's fine. Don't care. Why are you healing? Why did you just heal? Why did that happen? Is that our disciple? Do you need to leave first? Are you even dealing damage to him? I don't even know. I don't think his mask has been broken yet. There we go. I think we just got it. Now damage is starting to come in. Oh, he's already at half health. Less than half. That's Aether Shroud, so he can't find us. I can't even find him. Where are you going? I can't even tell what's happening here. All I know is the gun is shooting. Oh, jeez. Ammo is such an issue with this. Why do I feel like this guy's stronger than the Stormcaller? Oh, now the storm's coming in. We still haven't killed this guy. He's healing faster than we can put out damage right now. This is terrible. Oh, you want to fight us right next to the ammo crate? You know what? I'm fine with that. I'll take it. It's like he's perpetually stuck at this health because he keeps healing it all back. I'm going to be fighting him until the game's over. No healing? Ooh, the throwing knife is actually the strat. Throw it at his hand. He can't heal. Ah. Uh. Finally. Oh, now we get the insta-kill. Whatever, dude. But we might be able to squeeze in this outlast right before the storm gets to us. And then we can head on into the Dark Aether. Like, I can't say how good this is against just normal zombies. You don't even have to pay attention. You just shoot at the ground. If there's any elites, it's a completely different story. And there's our contract right as the storm's getting here. Perfect timing. Any legendary Aether tools? Nope. A whole lot of nothing. Oh, we didn't even get our Merc kills. Maybe we can make a mad dash for one. Let's speed run clearing out this stronghold. I want this camo. Oh, this is actually really good against Riot Shield Mercs. Or any Mercs for that matter. Green's not even done telling us what a stronghold is. We're just clearing it out. Night, night. Um, where's the helicopters at? Can I shoot them down? Oh, they did a little bit of damage. But I'm more worried about these guys. Where'd they go? Oh, here's another helicopter. Gone. Demolished. I don't know if that even counted for our kills. That's not going to do it. How many more do we need? Still, like, what? 15 more? That's crazy. And I think final exfil is coming in. All right, we need to move. Any more Merc camps? Shit. You might have waited too long to do this. All the way over here. Let's see if we can make it. 
Or maybe find a convoy or something. Oh, wait, there's a merc contract here we can do. That's probably smarter. I always forget there's contracts with mercs in it. I avoid them so much. You gotta activate all these reactors. Then they should start spawning in. There we go. All active. Oh, and all these zombies distracted by my tactical? That should be our camo right there. That's ridiculous. This is actually gonna be the gun for XP farming. That's crazy. This thing dominates in tier one. What happened to our contract? Did I just cancel it? What the fuck? My plan is all going to shit. I got two minutes left. I gotta decide. What am I gonna do? Uh, let's go to the Dark Aether. And with a minute left... Oh, contract in progress. No, there's not. I can't cancel this contract? I can't even cancel the contract. Oh, shit. All right, we'll have to go to the Dark Aether next game. That's stupid. Now we got 40 seconds to make it all the way to Final X, Phil. No, 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 get up. Get up now. Oh, shit. 20 seconds. Oh, come on. Scorcher, don't fail me now. You gotta get double the height. Use the parachute, cut it. Oh, shit. What am I, heavier in the storm? Oh, no. So it canceled my contract for me, but didn't actually cancel it. Oh, now it's giving me the option to start the upload. That's so stupid. Where's the x helicopter? Are we just done? Oh, it's leaving. I can see it. No way we fumbled this hard. Damn. That's ridiculous. All the way back down to containment level 75. I can't believe that. That is so stupid. At least we didn't have anything crazy on us. Let's hop back in. All right, well, not only was that an embarrassing blunder, but now... <laughs> I don't have another mag of holding, so we're going to have to see what this can do without it. And hopefully we can get one from this next Dark Aether run. There's our Merc camo. Now we just need some money. No fucking way we crash now. What is this? <sighs> New update. Same problems. I guess now we can test this weapon out without the pulse barrel. Still does a little pulse though when you shoot it. Or maybe it'll be better. Who knows? No fucking way we crashed again. How many games do I have to play? This is ridiculous, dude. All right, well, you know what they say. Fourth time's the charm. Oh, this actually might be way better with just the bullets. I feel like it's doing way more damage. Now if only we could get MAGA holding on this. Okay. This can handle elites way better than the aftermarket part barrel. Look at this. Disciple? Gone. Right about now. Right, hold on. And now. Ooh, and we get a mega abomination to try it out against. Mimic? Oh no. What a dick. Let's hope we can handle it. So far, damage-wise, not doing the craziest, and we're eating a laser. Nice, cool, excellent. Oh, now we got two abominations. The more the merrier, I guess. Oh, this is actually doing way more damage than before. Come on, let's break a face. At least I'm one of you. Come on. You know you want to be broken. Did we get it? Oh, we did. Let's go. Just got to do the same thing on this one. Oh. The rug is saving my life right now. Nope, never mind. I take it all back. I have like one self revive left. I'm getting wombo comboed by these two. At least his health going down, is it? Or is it going up? What happened? Oh, broke his face. Let's go. We got this one to half health. And this one at lower than half health. Wow, we're actually handling it. Whatever you define handling it as. Oh, here's another laser. Barely snuck past it. Oh, but he's got another one. We might just have to fight it. There we go, broke a face. And he's so close to dying. Run. There we go. Woo. Took him out last second. No, oh, and the other one's still here. Fuck. That's our last self revive. Let's hope that there's another one in here. Yep. Perfect. All right, now it's your turn, pal. Yeah, run into that tree, dumbass. Perfect. Setting yourself up for failure. Night, night. Woo. Took forever, but we got two megas down with no ammo left. All right, 
After 25 games, we can finally go into the Dark Aether. Let's hope this can carry us. All right, well, let's start out with the bounty and see if we can actually take it out. All right, Disciple, it's me and you. You better have a MAGA holding for me after all I've gone through today. There we go, broke the mask. All right, now we're starting to deal some damage. That's what we like to see. This is actually taking forever to kill. Holy shit, he's only at half health. Oh wait, here we go. Starting to take some nice damage. What do we got right here? A nuke, perfect. Keep all the zombies away and he's dead. Oof, we need a little help from that nuke, but finally got it done. I'm glad it wasn't a mega abomination because we might have been fighting it the entire half hour they have us in here. And this outlast should be easy with this. Hopefully. We should just be able to shoot enough to keep these zombies away. Let's try up in this corner. But if I just keep doing this, they actually can't get to us. They just keep falling over. The disciple don't know where to go. It wants to go and buff some zombies, but they're all falling over. Oh, now he found his way in. But we have not really taken any damage. This mangler's going to try to change that and this disciple. I'm not going to let him. Okay, I don't, I don't think we got a choice in the matter. This is still struggling against the elites, but I think it's a bit better without the barrel, to be honest, even though the barrel looks sick. Got four more percent to go. With no signs of slowing down. There we go. Give me a MAGA holding. Oh, let's fucking go. Finally. Now all we need is legendary aether tool and I might slightly forgive you, game. I still use maybe about four legendary aether tools today, so you're in debt. Time for the aether extractor. Aether shroud. Barely gonna get this one off without getting hit. There we go. Let me out, please. Cool. On to the next. Let's use a monkey bomb here. Preemptively throw it. And start it up. That's another one down. One more to go. Let's start throwing this one. Don't go down. And let's do this before the mangler can get over here and stop us. Perfect. We just need to kill the bastard. Ooh, it actually took care of it for us. Run a decoy and a aether bike. Fuck that. Oh, and nice. Let's get the fuck out of here before I end up crashing again. Feels good to actually make it out of a game. Now we get to play our final game with this sniper. A game to end all games. Because hopefully by the end of this game, we'll have it Borealis. Let's pop our mag of holding. And I am all out of all kinds of Aether Crystals. So we need to go and find a Pack-a-Punch machine. Oh, look how much faster it shoots without the charged up barrel. It looks crazy too. Luckily, we start out with 5,000, so we get Pack-a-Punch right away. And what is this like now? Oh, that's way better. Oh, there's a level up. Pack-a-Punch kills are done. Now we just need our elite kills and the weapon is done. Look how nasty this is. Hold on, let me throw a decoy. All the zombies are on it. And let me just shoot one little bullet. They're all dead. This thing's sick. We might as well challenge ourselves. Do a tier three bounty for one of our elite kills. All right, disciple. How's this doing for you? I can't even tell. I can see his health bar a little bit. Did we break his mask? I hope so. Let's aether shroud and lay into him. Ooh, it's like we have a fully automatic rocket launcher. This is crazy. Quick nuke on him. Just health a little bit lower for us. Stop him from healing. And he's dead. Nice. And we got another bounty right here. It's your turn, Mangler. We're hitting him with nothing but headshots. We can't even see what's going on and he's down. That should be our final elite kill, right? Show me Serpent tonight. Oh, it's right behind our contract completed. Let's go. So that means we got Bioluminescent or Borealis on this, whichever one. They had to make them both start with bees. Well, I guess we can't just not fight an abomination. Let's throw on our napalm burst and give it a go. Oh shit, his health is getting melted. Why is this so much better? What? He just got deleted. Gone, finished. Why does this sometimes do an insane amount of damage and other times it looks like it's just tickling? That might actually be faster than the flamethrower was. If it can kill an abomination that easy, what can it do against the stormcaller? We don't have dead wire, but we should still be able to do some decent damage to him. And now he's slowly leaving the storm. Like a dick. Why don't you leave the storm and then heal? 
That's your mo that's your MO. Oh, yep, you did it. Foxsucker, you know what? A nuke for my troubles. Now you get the rest. No healing. Aether Shroud, out of ammo. Cool. Awesome. This thing still does have an ammo issue. Good thing we got ammo right here. All right, bitch. Round two. Come on. Just fuck off already and die. There we go. Stop him from healing immediately. You guys just keep doing that. Stay up close and personal with them. Knock it off. Aether Shroud. Come on. He's so close to death. This should be it right here. There we go. Yep. This is definitely way better without the aftermarket part, but the aftermarket part's fun. And for the grand finale, why don't we fight the red worm with this fine group of people? There it is. Light him up. Is this doing any damage to him? Uh, I can't really tell with everybody fighting it. Either way, this thing's getting melted. Ain't no way it survives. It's got no chance. It's already almost at half health. It's getting demolished. You're putting in a good effort, worm, but I don't think it's good enough. Oh, shit. You heard me say it. And there he goes. Night, night, wormy. Give me a legendary aether tool. I'm going to snag this. There we go. Got it. <laughs> Let's go. And what we get out of our rift. Wow. What a great reward. Let me out of here. Whew. A long day using this gun. So overall opinion on the Morse, it's actually really good. It's a little dodgy here and there with damage against elites, but against normal zombies, it seems to clear them up easy. And then throwing a little mag holding this thing is a monster. You can just continuously shoot explosive sniper rounds and take out any zombies around you. And like I mentioned like a hundred times in this video, using it without the aftermarket part barrel is probably better. Because not only can it shoot a little faster, I think it does more damage as well. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. And I will see you in the next one. Later.